Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus Pad and today I will show you how you can record screen on this device. So to get started, pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top of your screen and as you can see we have a bunch of toggles right here. One of those should be a screen recorder and for me it's right over here, there we go. So once you see this toggle you can simply tap on it and this will bring up an overlay giving you option to record your microphone, your system sound, close this or start recording. So I'm going to click on this red circle to start recording. And as you can see, it's now recording. Now, there's a semi-transparent gray dot following my finger. It's just going to be visible on the screen recording to imitate where my finger was pressing. Now, once you're done recording, you can interact with this overlay and then select the check mark right here to save the recording. Once it gets saved, you can then find it in your Photos application. As you can see, it's visible right at the front or at the top as today, but you should be also able to find it under Albums and under Screenshots. Yep, looks like Screenshots. So there we go. Now one thing to keep in mind, the quality here is absolutely atrocious. So just to kind of show this, I'm gonna bring it up closer. And it looks like the resolution is just non-existent. As you can see, all these applications have like, whoops. Let's try to go back there. So all these apps have some kind of weird artifacting around them, which doesn't actually appear normally as you can see now so let's see if we can fix that up so let's find this title once again hold it and this will take you to the settings and as you can see there we go we have definition set to medium i highly recommend changing it to high and frame rate we can change to i guess 30 will be the highest anyway although So it would actually look like it was recording at 60 rather than 30, so uh, dynamic might be better. Some, something that I recommend checking out when recording, you can probably check it right here. So let's go into info, details, and it actually doesn't specify if it's recording at 60 or 30. That is something that you'd have to check on your computer in this case. Uh, but it looks like it's 60 to be completely honest. Just going to check it once more. Yeah, this looks this looks like 60. So dynamic actually might be a better option considering if we go back into the settings under frame rate we only have 30, 24 or 15 uh, as a stable frame rate but dynamic seems to be recording at 60 so I would probably recommend sticking with this one. Now, the rest of the options I would recommend keeping as they are. So this will give you a significantly higher quality screen recording than what you saw in, uh, well, my example. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.